By the virtue of its size, construction is one of the largest users of energy, material resources, water, and plainly capital, and it's a formidable polluter. The building industry is a vital element of any economy but has a significant impact on the environment. Improvements of cost effectiveness of the building is consequently of common interest for the owner, the user, and the society. Cost effectiveness does not have to be confused with substandard or poor quality structures. Quite the opposite. It ought to involve strategies intended to optimize resources, technologies, material utilization, and maximize the efficiency of the structure. An ideal holistically designed building is not a mere structure that is economic and sustainable. What makes a building ideal is the opportunities and the contribution it gives at making an environment healthy throughout its life. It should be inexpensive to build, last forever with modest maintenance, but return completely to the earth when abandoned. For many clients, the primary and often only concern is to reduce the initial cost of the building. Cost reductions may be possible by selecting less expensive materials and reducing the amount of time required to assemble them on site. But this assumes that these costs can be discovered. What most people fail to understand is that sometimes when the sole aim is reducing the initial costs, the over life cycle cost of the building is increased by using low quality materials which require maintenance in the future. Resource conservation means achieving more with less. It is the management of the human use of the natural resource to provide the maximum benefit to current generation while maintaining capacity to meet the ends of the future generation. One of the main purposes of a building is to provide healthy and comfortable environment for human activities. A building must accommodate the activities it is built for and provide floor space, room volume, shelter, light and amenities for working, living, learning, curing and processing. The cost has a very close alliance with the design and the life cycle of people who operate the scheme. These aspects cannot directly be calculated in the magnitude but have a major footprint on mental, social, cultural and emotional outlooks of the users. The use of the most fundamental materials and the method of construction generates wages for local labors and the use of lesser artificial elements create a sublime harmony with the environment. So there is really the cost safety factor was valid when Lori Baker was working, not in our generation. In our generation the problem is basically it is about people want good product but they still don't want to be cheap, they want it maintenance free. Still actually, you know the ratio is what I am saying, more than the cost of it, check out the ratio. How much did you spend for that Tata Burla shutter? How much did you spend for the workers who are working with you? That makes a lot of this thing. It's cheaper material, but you are paying your visa. Yeah, there is a relationship also that is being built. Yeah. So I am taking scrap. But mind you, this is more expensive than a normal grill. Why? Because normal grill, there is already a design the welder will do. Let's say for 10 or 10,000 or something. Mm. And the material also will be costing somewhere in the recent of 20,000, 30,000. Mm. This one scrap might be cheap, not in this case, but normally it is cheap. And the scrap is cheap and the welder does it slowly because he has to adjust so many things. Hmm. So the money is going to the welder yeah. and also to the scrap dealer also. There also I am putting an investment so that more and more people, scrap dealers are willing to sell out their material yeah. for young upcoming architects and engineers. Taking eco-friendly and green architecture to the next level, Vinu Daniel believes in the use of local materials as most of his projects are in some obscure places and the usage of material available in the vicinity will only be helpful in decreasing the cost of the project. And an expressive architecture is allowed to emerge from the constraint. The debris wall is built over discovered foundation and with the materials that are recycled from the site. The coconut shell filler slab enables the architect to reduce the concrete in the same. The roofing uses a filler slab technique that requires a lesser quantity of concrete and also results in passive air conditioning of the interior. Innovative reuse is in fact the defining theme of the building though it draws more attention owing to the earth architecture. Major vertical openings to the public areas like the dining and the living room have been secured with grills of iron rods patterned with recycled electrical meter box covered, recovered from scrapyards. 
a full equipped 2000 square feet bungalow of superior aesthetics at a cost of just 27 lakhs with the added moral bonus of being extremely sensitive to its environment is an idea that should surely inspire emulation Bijou Mathieu residents rises up to the challenge of contemporary architecture in reimagining a common architectural program for the cities the site the materials and the process of making responsibility creating intriguing spaces in its wake The other projects of Vino Daniel depict the similar consciousness of the cost usability the need of the present time is to differentiate between cost conscious and cost effective and practice the former one and build a bridge between the human and the natural resources